Alright guys, what is up? Um, today we're going to be starting our tutorial series in making and just teaching about uh, horror FPS kit, how it works, how to do things, and everything. So um, this is going to be imported all in here. Mm. And basically this is all this is all imported straight into here. It's all going to be nice and pretty and just ready for you to play around in the actual scene if you want. You go to build settings. They're all here. Um, so basically, the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our new scene. I actually saved mine over the sample scene. You can also open it, and yeah, um, I can do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, so first of all, first of all, we're gonna. Oh my! I just repeated. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here. Uh, I'm sure you guys can't see. Uh, all right. Say hi to OBS. Alright, anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this little section here and click tools, HFPS kit, setup, game, and then so there's two versions. So the first version is gonna be first person, which basically is the controller without the FPS button. We actually want to we're gonna be working with the body, um, so we're gonna set up with the body here. But there's no difference at all, really. It's just how you want your game to look. I'll show you guys how to change the FPS body and everything. It'll all be fine. Um, so what we're, what we're also going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to Window. And then to Package Manager. And I'm going to go ahead and click on make sure we're in all packages. Uh, it's messed up for us. And then go ahead and make sure you look up Pro here and download Pro Builder. And then we're just going to go ahead and create a new 3D uh, Pro Builder cube here. We're just gonna um, we're gonna go over here and click Open Pro Builder, and we will keep that like that. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so now, basically, what we want to do. Is we want to go ahead and uh, base. Okay, so I'm gonna ch show you something here. So um, essentially, uh, there's two ways you can make a level with an, an interior level, and the first way is going to be uh, using multiple cubes like this. Oh, oopsies. Like using multiple cubes, kind of like this, to make a level out of cubes. And then the second way is to, um, first of all, we want to delete the camera as well. So the second way is actually to create a Pro Builder cube and uh, open up our Pro Builder here. And then uh, basically select, click on here, select all these faces. And basically, just um, we're gonna flip it. So now we're just gonna click on flip face normals, and now it's gonna be an interior cube. We forgot one face. Make sure you select that one too. <laughs> and now we have an interior here without it like looking weird. So without like having like a bunch of different cubes out which is going to make our performance a lot worse so let's go ahead and make a little room here just like that and uh, let's go ahead and close this pro builder tab here and we'll move the cube under our player here and drag that up there now you'll see um, actually, let's go ahead and lower this uh, intensity down to like 0 0.3. There we go. So now click, if you'll click play here, you'll notice that we have an interior room. You know, we have a little level. It's uh, actually existing. Yep, Billy Eilish does. I don't know why. I don't know why it says, is my Spotify even open? Oh, it is. Well, what do you know? Um. Anyways... Uh, hey man, Billy Eilish is pretty cool. But I'll just post that. Oh, I didn't mean to post that. 
Um, okay, anyways. Yep, I've been exposed, Billy Eilish. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so, first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and create just a simple, like, light switch activation. That's pretty easy. So, um, let's go ahead and create a new empty. Let's go ahead and name this cube level. I'm going to drag that into there. Now, we're just going to call this lights. And we're going to drag this under the level script here, or the level cube. Just to just so it knows that it's inside the level here, uh, and we keep it all organized. We can just close up the level if we ever want to. Let's go ahead and open content, prefabs, light, and I'm going to add a light switch right here. Let me rotate it. Mm, that's probably good. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a cage light here. We're going to duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that. Duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that, just like that. So now we're going to drag all of these under that. And then our light switch right there. And then drag all of our cage lights under the light switch. Now, um, we want to actually select all these cage lights and then click on static and then click switch controlled. And then just drag the light switch into there. And now, now when we start the game, uh, these will be powered on. We walk over here, turn them off. So, yay. Anyways, yeah, so now we have a basic little light switch here. So we'll call this switch one. And then I usually unpack the prefab just so that we can make changes to it later if we need to. Um, and we can also duplicate these. Rotate them uh, 360 degrees, and then we'll put them on this wall. Oh. Yeah, let's just retry that one. Okay, cool, whatever it works. Okay, so then we'll just put those right there. Okay, anyways, so now uh, now we have a bunch of these things. So now we have a bunch of these like uh, lights if we turn them off, we turn them off. But it's kind of a little bit light in here still. So let's go ahead and set this to point 0.1. And then let's just drag it up like that. And uh, I feel like it's a little too dark. Okay, cool. So now it's really dark and kind of scary. That's an issue. But now you'll see if we go ahead and turn all those off, it's darker. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to put it back to be a little bit lighter. Just so we can actually see the scene and actually like operate in it. So, um Okay. Um, just drag that into there. I don't know why it's not. Let's go ahead and unpack all these also. Now, um, basically, uh, that's actually, we're actually not going to do anything else to this one. This one's just a quick how to make a new level thing. Um, if you guys have any requests for other tutorials I should make with this kit, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed, and yeah, bye.